What's up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is 100% hands down, probably the most requested video that I have recently got. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my official full apartment tour slash closet tour. As well as the video goes out, I'm also gonna be talking about just like some styling tips when kind of curating your own space. For any of you guys who are new here, I live in Seattle, Washington. This apartment specifically is a studio loft. As you guys can see, there's like the stairs that goes up. This unit in particular is is just under 300 square feet which low-key is not a lot at all so as i mentioned kind of like throughout the video i'm going to give you guys just like some styling tips not only to create a really nice space but to kind of create a space that's functional practical and kind of serves as multiple purposes a lot of the furniture in here again serves as those things that i just said the kind of style that i like is simple modern with like some industrial touches and like a mid-century modern influence it's definitely going to be a chatty one so sit back and get cozy give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for this room tour enough rambling let's get into the mid-century modern simple and aesthetic apartment tour slash um, tips on how to curate and make the best use of a small space All right, you guys, kicking the apartment tour right off with kind of one of my favorite parts of the whole entire apartment. So as you guys can see, this is the door right here. And then kind of behind the door, we just have this full body mirror. This is kind of like where I check my drip right before I hop out. So behind me is actually my new wardrobe slash closet. So let's get into that. All right, you guys, like I said, so this kind of whole thing is the new wardrobe slash closet. Definitely minimized and kind of consolidated my wardrobe to make sure everything fits in here. Really like how it came out. So let's go ahead and dive in. So this top section is actually where I keep all of like my shoes. So as you guys can see on the bottom row, we just got all of my designer shoes. We got like, again, all of my Balenciagas right there. And then kind of moving upwards, we just have some more like everyday shoes, like some Nike, some Koyo. Um, I do have that new Prada shoe that I just bought. And then kind of in this bag right here, we just got Got some bags that I kind of reach for every day. So there's my Prada bag, I got my CDG pouch, my Balenciaga pouch, and kind of in the back as well, we have some board games as well as some additional shoes. And then kind of moving up to the second one, this bin is just again some additional storage. And then kind of this uh like tray situation is where i keep all of my colognes so i got some bits from like sembird hawthorne le labo um givenchy just a bunch of again my personal favorites and in the back over there we just got a little bit of everything there's like drop kit thing when i travel i got a steamer i got like two types of lint rollers back there my daily vitamins and then in that saint laurent bag back there um i just have some cleaning bits and then kind of moving up we just got a sneak peek of the brand new casual flex merge that's coming out very soon and then we just got some additional bins up here and then we also have this tote bag that is filled with all of my accessories and my hats. So now kind of moving in to these three additional drawers within the closet and wardrobe. This first one kind of acts as my, I would say undergarment slash basic tees. So as you guys can see, all of my basic tees are color coordinated and they're rolled. So it kind of maximizes the space that I had. Cause as you guys can tell, this is a fairly small apartment. So I definitely had to like get it where I can. Um, but I do think that the whole rolling technique definitely worked out for me. Granted, it's probably not the most nicest roll, but you know, it works. Towards this side, we just have a bunch socks i am currently doing laundry right now so that's why this area is looking kind of sparse but this area is usually where all of my white socks are um and my gray ones as well and then obviously i just have a bunch of <laughs> underwear black blue gray white i kind of stick to like the neutrals especially when it comes to this kind of category of my clothing so moving into the second one, this kind of drawer is a little bit more exciting. So I just got some kind of travel dust bags for whenever, again, I do go traveling. And then kind of towards the left of this guy, we have all of my roll necks, turtlenecks, mock necks, again, color coordinated, you know what it is. And then in the middle, we just have like a bunch of thicker sweaters, basic sweaters. We got a cardigan over here. And yeah, just a ton of, again, everyday like hoodies sweatshirts um and then it just carries on on this side and then in the front we just have a bunch of like formal t formal shirts so again a lot of like button ups and all that stuff i'd only have a handful of these so that's kind of why they don't occupy that much space but nonetheless um Besides this side where it's really color coordinated and everything, this kind of is just folded down and nicely put like how I, like to the most I could, you know? 
And then moving down to the last drawer within the closet slash wardrobe, this is where I keep all of my pants as well as my sweatpants and my trousers and my gym clothes. So on this side, we have all the tan bits. And then in the middle, we have all of the navy blue and like denim selections. And then this side, we have the black and gray bits. So as you guys can see, you just got some isumiyaki at the top. And then it really just goes down and down, like as you guys can see. And then over here, oh, we got some gray over here as well. Um, and then these are the more like lighter bits like this. And then this occupies like my gym clothes. And then these are a couple of denim jackets. And then of course I had to have my own row for my cold box in kind of garments. So I got three right now. So that's that. All right, so right next to kind of like the wardrobe, closet area this is what i would like to call the kitchen area so this is kind of just like a pan through of what it looks like of course at the top we just got well these two bins up there is just some additional storage and then i kind of just kept a kind of like diy like mood board up there and then all of these cabinets serve as storage and then we just have a microwave an induction plate a sink and then of course got some soap bits paper towel and then down there is where i house all of my cleaning bits and then this is kind of where all my seasonings go and just kind of like some snacks and stuff and then we got like this fridge kind of the main area that i use a lot almost every day is this area right here so this is kind of like my coffee so i kind of made an effort to make my own station so we just got this like keurig mini this guy right here is a banger like i love this um this mini version of the keurig of course in the black and then we just have kind of this i picked this up from home goods but it's like this marble kind of like it's supposed to be a vase but i use it as this thing to house all of my keurig pods and i don't know i just think it looks a little bit more visually appealing we got this card from cold bucks and when they sent me a pr gift i just kind of like how it looks like that and then we have these cool kind of like espresso mugs from normal objects they sent me as a housewarming gift i don't necessarily use it that much because i don't have a actual espresso machine but i was talking to them and they are coming out with mugs like this and i think it's just super cool like look how cool that looks so imagine like this but a mug that'd be pretty sick so i'm excited for that to come out but i leave it here just kind of as like a prop you know to make it look a little bit more nicer we have my disposable film camera we have this like <laughs> kind of calendar that i never flip i just like it again because i kind of feel like there's a lot of marble and granite happening so i definitely not only only like to incorporate this wood texture right here but i do kind of like how kind of adds another like black element and then i just went grocery shopping so we got this uh pineapple and i'm about to cut it up and uh not meal prep it but you know just like keep it in a container and like eat it as like a healthy snack i'm not gonna really dive in too much with the whole like cabinet thing but i will kind of show you guys what each one looks like um just so you can maybe kind of catch some i don't know like inspo for storage so these are kind of like where all my plates go so as you guys can see this is kind of like the color scheme for the plates got some bowls here uh, my mug and then i have this kind of like organizer for all of my utensils and then up at the top we got some glassware mugs got my protein shake cup thing in the back and then i just got some tupperware some ziploc green tea and then up at the top we just have some additional like you know paper towel toilet paper and all that stuff and then over here we have some like dry food type of things So a lot of you guys are probably like watching this like apartment tour and all that stuff and you're wondering like stevie where is your kitchen so the apartment complex that i live in doesn't necessarily have its own kitchen so to speak and every apartment does come with the indu induction plate which you guys saw which is above the microwave but in this apartment complex there is two fully stocked gourmet kitchens there's one on the first floor and there's one on the fourth floor i know that's probably not the most convenient thing for a lot of people but for me personally especially like with the new year and stuff i've definitely been trying to be a little bit more conscious about what i take in and like what i eat and stuff so what i've been really doing lately is meal prepping a lot of you guys can see like that's why i had the tupperwares i personally do not ever use that induction plate again i always cook like every sunday or monday and just meal prep for the week again it's not the most convenient thing but it's not the end of the world um, so if you're wondering like where my kitchen is um there's that
So now to the left of the kitchen area, we just have the main living room. So this is kind of where the TV is. As you guys can see, the TV's up there and then I have this like TV unit. I got this TV unit from Target and it's pretty cool, but I'm, a, I'm actually gonna go over there and show you guys what it is, but I just wanna give you like a far away view first. But again, this is what it looks like. And then I got this chair here, got some books, um, got my sneakers of the day over there, a candle, and then we got this plant to kind of just add some visual interest and some color. And then kind of just on this TV unit thing, we just have a bunch of like, again, things that add visual interest. So we got this like thing that I picked up from Home Goods. We got a couple of magazines. Oh, that's kind of what this is. I really like the color on it, this TV unit as well. When I was looking for a TV unit for my space, I definitely wanted one that was gray. And I definitely wanted one that not only was gray, but was wood. So as you guys can see, um, you can kind of see the wood kind of like peeking through. So what's really cool about this TV unit is it actually slides open so you can put more stuff in here. So we just got my cable box or not cable. We got my Wi-Fi box in there and we just have a ton of like tax stuff um, and just a bunch of additional candles. And then it's cool because you can either leave the open side open or you can leave this side. So now kind of diving in to the second half of my living room. Well, as you guys can see, we just got an area rug down here. And then this is kind of the stairs that leads up to my quote unquote bedroom. But again, I definitely kind of want to use this video to just really explain to you the whole thought process I had when creating this space. So as you guys can see, we just have this really nice, um, super simple, kind of like mid-century modern sofa to kind of just throw in some texture. We, get, we just have like this full fur blanket, simple black throw pillow. And then we just have the, of course, ikea in collaboration with virgil abloh um pillow i really like this because not only does it add again another pop of color but this canvas material way to incorporate texture into something that would again just be a little bit more plain i feel like this setup especially with the couch again is super plain the mix with a bunch of textures really does add a nice touch and what's really cool about this couch actually is it's actually a sofa bed the dilemma that i had with this apartment was i wanted a sofa bed but the thing is is that as you guys can see the stairs kind of comes out a bit further so i had to find a sofa bed that would kind of fold down all the while not passing this and this couch fits perfectly so i'm super stoked that this kind of again worked out for me and towards the top we just have this product print from decennio i really love this print um and i would definitely recommend checking them out they got some good stuff and then over here we just have some posters again with a different type of like material and texture i would say this is a little bit more of a marble granite situation i just really love playing with textures i think it kind of adds this nice element to a space and then as you guys can see we just have this really big window right here which just lets in a ton of natural light. I love kind of coming home to my apartment and just kind of seeing this window, especially when it pours. Like, can y'all see that? I love this like light leak that's happening right here. It's just, I don't know, it puts me in such a great mood. And the view from the apartment is pretty nice. Kind of, as you guys can see, a little bit of like downtown out there. Um, and especially at night too, when all of those apartment buildings are lit up, it's so nice. And again, it's just such a vibe. So to kind of piggyback off of the second half of the living room, another really cool thing and kind of a hack that I wanted to share with you guys. I don't even know what to call these, but honestly, they're like, I use them not only as storage, but I use them as like tables. I use them as seats. So I picked these, um, these two up from home goods. So as you guys can see, this thing is right behind my stairs. So the way that I use these is I actually carry these like this and I put it like this. So whenever I'm working from home, if I'm having some food, if I'm having a coffee, I will always kind of just use that as not only a desk, but again, like a table of some sort. And I really like how the bottom is see-through because it kind of makes, has this illusion that your space is bigger than what it actually is. Cause Loki, this is definitely a small space. So I, again, I want to kind of create this nice and airy and definitely um, kind of like this vibe that everything just flows. So I got to, um, Again, just kind of kind of couple it up. And also, you know, when you have people over, you're not gonna be the only one eating. So I think like that within itself looks nice. Um, and as I mentioned, not only does this act as a table and storage, but it also acts as somewhat of an additional seating. So a couple of times I've had some family and friends over and what I do is I'd actually just put these up against the wall like this. And if you're comfortable enough, you can go ahead and just sit on them and right there, boom, you have an additional two seats right there. It's definitely not the most sturdy thing, but especially with a small space like this, you have to get it where you can. And I think that these two kind of storage slash table slash whatever you want to call them, um, I definitely think that it, it worked out and I, I really like it. And I think it plays with the space really well. Kind of like 
bathroom situation um it's honestly nothing special so we probably won't stay in here too long um but this is kind of the sliding door so the way that it pops it pops up like this and you close it go ahead and so we open it and this is obviously your bathroom the mirror is right here and then kind of behind this mirror i just have a, of course a bunch of my grooming stuff we got some shaving bit um toothbrushes just like a bunch of again another some stuff i don't want to really get into it because it's just a bathroom um but that's kind of like what that looks like and then we just got this sink it's honestly a really tiny sink so it's probably not the most like efficient thing but it works i guess um the toilet just got like a little mini trash can there i really do, actually do like this toilet though because it's floating so it kind of has this makes this illusion that your bathroom is a lot bigger than it appears and then up here this was already built in so i it wasn't my personal choice but of course i had to dress it up and make it my own so i just put a nice floating plant there got some from breeze and then i kind of again with the mid-century modern industrial vibes i put this storage thing for just some additional toilet paper and stuff and not only again is it functional but it kind of adds this nice mid-century modern industrial kind of touch to the overall bathroom and then of course we just have like this hand towel right here and then kind of on this side this is what the shower looks like so it's just one of those that has like the clear glass subway tiles throughout which i really like and it's just a door um nice little fluffy rug from ikea All right, you guys, so that was kind of like that for downstairs. As you guys saw, you saw like my living room, my kitchen, the bathroom and stuff. So now we're gonna go up there, uh, which is the sleeping area. So as you guys can see, the way that this like studio, I think they call it like a studio plus or a studio loft. The way that it works is you just have like this staircase and then it goes up to your sleeping area. Kind of like the whole concept, I think it was pretty cool. It almost is kind of like a, I don't know, I would like to call it like an adult tree house type of thing. So let's go up the stairs and I'll show you guys kind of like the sleeping area and then my clothing rack and all that stuff up there. So let's get it. So all you literally do is just, walk up these stairs like this so one thing i really like about this apartment was i just really like how you can kind of see the downstairs from your sleeping area which of course obviously you can to see it because it's a small space but i don't know there's just something about being able to kind of see everything all in one space look like at all the mess i made down there <laughs> yeah i just think it's cool like you can kind of see everything so now kind of moving into the sleeping area this is what my bed looks like as i mentioned in the beginning of this video i am doing laundry so that's why i don't have any pillowcases right now um but usually my whole kind of setup for my bed is just all white like i personally like seeing all white sheets i think it looks clean it looks simple and modern um i definitely like to dress it up with a couple throw blankets so we got like this nice fuzzy one and then kind of like this more more felt one with some fringe to again just kind of add a little bit more interest and detail so to the left side of my bed is kind of my bedside table this is also from home goods and i just put like every time i'm sleeping i'll put like a glass of water on there and then we got like a plant and then this saint laurent box just has a couple bits like some chapstick and stuff like that if any of you guys are regulars to this channel you would know man's is always about a nice clothing rack um so with this new apartment i definitely wanted to kind of incorporate one so i paired it up with just like a simple um kind of faux plant with a nice like white vase and then the clothing rack is also from ikea but it just houses like a bunch of my outerwear because as you guys saw the wardrobe downstairs wasn't that big so kind of implementing and incorporating a really nice rack um again not only acts as like a decor piece but i don't know like it's it's nice i i personally like <laughs> like waking up to it and i think it's it kind of adds like again a nice little interesting detail to the what would rather be like just super plain because as you guys can see like the walls are just white so having again like all of my clothes there it just it's just nice and i i personally like looking at it so yeah outside here we have these whoa those are dirty <laughs> as you guys can see like the windows are super dirty but a view of the city like i said at night it's super nice you can see all the buildings like lit up and stuff and i don't know i just i even kind of like leaving my window open at night too all right, you guys, and that is it for my official apartment tour. I know for a fact that, again, this video was super chatty and hopefully you guys didn't mind. I definitely wanted to just really just like, again, show you guys how I'm even surviving in this barely 300 square feet apartment. I think it's definitely one of those things that it's not everyone's kind of like taste, but I for one always believe that you should definitely never live above your means. And I think that if you can make a space work and if you can make it practical enough to again, your needs and just like within your budget, um, I would definitely again, recommend doing so. But yeah, overall, like even though it is a small space, as you guys can see, I personally think it works for me. The most people I've ever had in here was about eight. And on a daily basis, there's usually like two to three people in here. So with that being said, hopefully this kind of video served as some sort of inspo for you guys and hopefully the apartment tour was like everything that you guys were hoping for it definitely took me a minute big minute 
to film this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more content like this. And so yeah, I think that's it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.